Yo, look at all these toys I just found. Yo, the house next to me just had all these garbage cans outside. Literally the street next to mine. And so I just grabbed, I went through them and I grabbed this bag full of toys. I found this gold necklace in, with the toys just now. There might be more jewelry in there. So I just opened this bag of toys that I just grabbed. Had all these Magic the Gathering cards, some Yu-Gi-Oh cards. Um, I haven't dumpster dived in a few months. Uh, so this is this is probably and I found some bongs. Look at these bongs. Yeah, they're all from nineteen. I got like all so many toys, bro. I want to I want to look through them right now with everybody. So we got this Buzz Lightyear right here. Looks like an original. You can just tell. The batteries are dead. I, I can't. He's an, another one. But this one's got a belt. Let's see if this one's got a year. Two th this one's 2001. This one's probably 1999. 2001. Let me see if I can zoom out a little bit. Damn it. It's too zoomed in. There's a way for me to unzoom everything. I think I have a selfie stick. I have a selfie stick coming in the mail. What the... Let's put all the Toy Story stuff here first. Here's a Woody from 1999. I can pull the string. Listen to this. Hey, how, hey I am looking good. Hey, oh, I'm looking good. Howdy, partner. My name's Woody. I like to play the guitar. Oh, this is his pose right here. When he does this, he's going to cast a magic spell. He goes... Uh, and then he casts a magic spell. And then he fucking puts his boot into his uh into his gun holster because his feet are deadly weapons. Fucking weirdo, huh? Ooh, he's in heaven right now. He's like, ooh, two buzzes. I'm put all the transformer shit over here. Ooh. Is this tranny Woody? Is this is this Woody when he becomes a little tranny? That's crazy, huh? Yo, what's up? What's up? Um. Okay, let's see. Uh, let me try to get a good angle here. What are we doing here? Um. Am I am I disconnecting? Hold on a second. Let me get up. Here's another evil Woody. This is so crazy. I'm like taking these. Oh, what is this? Okay, we're back. Okay, uh, tr another transformer. We're gonna put all these transformers. Look through these in a second. How vintage does a transformer have to be to be worth the money? Another one. I like how right here it just explains, literally. Isn't that weird? It explains how... Does this make any sense? Do you guys, have you guys noticed this on every single toy nowadays? This is what it says. This device must accept any interference received, including interference that may cause undesired operation. That's one of the FCC rules for toys, is you have to be able to accept interferences. Isn't that weird as fuck, bro? What does that even mean, dude? Like, what? Can they hack into toys? <laughs> what? What in the world, bro? Can they spy on you with toys? Like, what does that even mean? Okay, let's see what it is. Oh, go! Ooh. Oh, damn, dude, that kind of looks like me. That kind of looks like me when I'm in the mirror in the morning. I don't see it. Oh, there it is. 2003. I like how he's like itching his balls. He's like doing a little fucking gang symbol right here. 
All right, let's put that one over here with action figures. So what's up, 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 everybody? What's up, everybody? A headless Captain America, okay, okay. A Link. That Link, ooh, I never thought about this. Link and uh, Wolverine should team up. Oh, damn, what's this thing? That's a body part. Oh, I finally found some body parts in the fucking dumpster, finally. Oh, wow, some kind of wooden... So this probably goes with this. Not sure, not sure. Oh, dang. That's a modern one. What's up, guys? Is this cringe? I don't know what this thing is. Oh my God, look at this. 1998. A 1998 Domo doll. Some Thor. Oh, don't tell me this guy just threw away all his shitty stuff, LOL. is this thing i hope my neighbors don't stare at me playing with toys that's kind of embarrassing the more broken the better you can sell broken toys for just as much as the fucking new ones oh my god there's fucking cars com coming coming in right now i'm gonna have to put this shit away i'm gonna do this in my room i'm too embarrassed i don't want my neighbors to fucking stare at me Give me one second. One little man, one little boy. Did you guys notice that YouTube has a new update today? Or like yesterday? Or two days ago or something? Yo, Pokemon official? Poke Homies official. Yo, 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 dude. I just found so many toys. I'm freaking going. Look at all these toys. I haven't even looked through all this stuff. My room is so dirty, guys. I haven't cleaned my room in like two weeks. Look at all these bags of toys, too. I haven't looked through these. Gotta look through all that shit. All oh, this stuff. Bunch of Magic and Catherine cards. Anybody know if this one's good? Karen Crow. That sounds like a girl's name. Karen Crow. I like that name. Shadow Cloak Vampire. I have a Shadow Cloak and I have a vampire in my room. My favorite guilty pleasure. Are there innocent ones? Yeah, okay. Okay, fucking Megan Fox. Crippling Blight. Still a lot. I know how to make that. I'll give that to you for free. You want it? I'm Taylor B. You remember me? Fuck no, I don't remember you, bitch. Nah, I remember you, yeah. What's up? I'm sorry, guys. I didn't, I, I didn't even know I was going to stream right now. I just... My streams are so fucking bad. If I took like a week 
to make a really nice website or something, I could probably have good streams, you know? Um, God, I feel like a fat fucking millionaire right now, even though I'm, I have no money. I just have all these antiques. It, it makes me feel rich. I love you, dude. I'm sorry. I'm, I'm a man, and I have a lot of mean testosterone in me. It makes me evil. Okay. Should I just dump all the toys out on the floor right here? Dude, out of all my stuff, I don't have a nice blanket. Ooh, I have a poster. You know what? Oh, God, and I just broke all of them. Fuck me in the ass to call me fucking sour. Jesus Christ. You guys ever watch the movie Dreamcatcher? I just accidentally ripped it though. Come on. Fuck. Oh. It's okay, they're only worth five bucks anyways. Let me put this on the floor. Oh, God, I don't even have any room. I got these Amanda Bind posters, guys. I'll sell this to you for 10 bucks. It's too big for me to show you. <laughs> I got a bunch of Amanda Bind posters that are so fucking big, they're like nine feet tall. What a girl wants, dude. The best, probably one of the top 20 best movies ever made. What a girl wants. Top 19 best movies of all time. I'm just gonna try to hang, let me see if I can hang it up right here. Oh, I've got a bunch of other Amanda Bynes. <laughs> Which is given the satanic symbol for horns. That's how you know uh, Lucifer, or one of the de demonic, was involved in making this movie. Look, she's, she's holding up the symbol. That's actually an ancient symbol from the Middle East. It's over 100,000 years old, this symbol. It's in ancient books. This is actually one of the five, and look, this is, that's actually one of the five proper symbols to talk to the demons. Why is Amanda Bynes doing it? Who, who's her teacher? Let's see who made this movie. Warner Brothers. War Brothers. So the people who made this movie is they're, they're Warner Brothers. Is that Lucifer and fucking Beelzebub? Tell me the truth. Worship. The same people who made the churches worshiping are the same people who made Warner Brothers. Universal Pictures. Columbia Pictures. All these names are ancient technologies. I'm just talking to too much, sorry. Come on, Amanda Bynes, you fucking fat bitch. You stupid fat fucking slut whore. I love Lucifer. Dude, who the fuck is Lucifer, honestly, bro? You know what's really weird about all these books? How come there's not an autobiography? Let me tell you that. Riddle me that. Where are the autobiographies of any of these people? Any of them? Shouldn't there be like five of them? Shouldn't they have like three or four autobiographies? Especially someone that's like a fucking demon, shouldn't they? <laughs> what if all of the books are their autobiography and we don't even know? I gotta throw this boat away. I gotta make some room. Look at my 
toys, man. Metal detector. Anybody want to buy this Razor scooter electric for fucking 20 bucks? I really don't want it. Saddam Hussein. <laughs> Saddam Hussein. Ousted Iraq leader Saddam Hussein undergoes medical examination after his capture to convince Iraqis that he has been captured. The U.S. officials quickly cut his hair and shave him for a photography. Upon hearing the news, Iraqis leap into celebrations. Saddam Hussein captured alive. They began digging, ladies and gentlemen. We got him. The top U.S. official in Iraq told reporters in Baghdad. Damn, bro, look at this hot girl from the 90s. How to win your spa vacation. Why would the... I found this in a garbage can. New study questions mixed income projects. Diligence support Afghan leader. Pakistan leader survive blast. What the fuck? Israeli lawmakers visit, visit dismantled outpost. West Bank dovish lawmakers and peace activists visited un- authorized Israeli outpost Sunday to refute claims they were demolished by the Israeli government under the terms of a U.S. backed peace plan. Three nations allowed ivory trade. Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, and Singal are all accused of ignoring a global ban. Singal, nearly 9,000 pounds of illegal ivory is on sale in Nigeria, the Ivory Coast, and Singal. Three countries singled out for failing to regulate a trade that fueling poaching and threatening the survival of elephants. Court charges man in Turkish bombing. Fewer lawsuits made it to trial. Rifts rock European Union. The failure of talks on the Constitution exposed deep divisions among members nations. Poland's stance on the EU draws ire. Sorry guys, I gotta read my daily newspaper every day. And a cup of coffee. Slain prosecutor's route adds to a mystery. Damn, what the fuck is this? You guys wanna buy this for me? For five bucks? How much are you worth, you walk? I think Jesus is the Antichrist. I love Lucifer. Um... Let me, like, I always got to start, I'm just going to say some random numbers and we'll figure it out. I'm going to say at least 3 million. But technically, there's probably things out there that I don't know about that will that's going to make me more like 30 million. But that's like, that's like believing in ghosts. But realistically, I want to say my katana must be worth between, at the very minimum, $2,000. But maybe it could be worth $200,000. Maybe twenty thousand dollars. Maybe two thousand. Maybe it's only worth two hundred. Maybe it's worth two million. But then, besides the katana, let's say I have, let's say I do an auction, right? And I do everything starting bid five dollars. Let me try to add everything up. That's like five hundred items. Thousand. That what is a thousand times five? Right? Five thousand dollars. So that box right there. One, two, three. That's like five. That's like five thousand dollars. Maybe that's six, seven, eight, nine, ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen. I mean, like I could have. I have all these old photographs and pictures. There could be a uh, something really valuable, like a Declaration of Independence, that will make it plus a hundred thousand. Realistically, without anything really expensive, like a hundred thousand uh, dollars. There has to be at like the very minimum 
there has to be five thousand dollars in here like if i if i sold this at a garage sale i should be able to make a few thousand dollars like if i just sold it as cheap as possible like th gave it away but then realistically i got the silver i got the gold so i probably got 5k just in silver you know what i mean so and then I just found another gold necklace today. Let's say that's worth 50, 60 bucks. I got 10 gold necklaces. Maybe that's worth a thousand bucks. And then I got all these other fucking silver shit. I don't know. It all adds up. I don't know how to add it all up, dude. $20 here, $20 there. Some old antiques. Like Maybe one of my statues could be worth $10,000. Maybe it's only worth $10. What about this shit in my hand? Embrace this or die. In the past year, startups have take long have taken outsourcing to extreme lengths, migrating ex ex entire development teams to India, China, and Russia, leaving only skeletal crews in Silicon Valley and tech hubs such as Boston and Seattle. You either embrace this or you die, said Warren Wiss, general partner at Menlo Park, based Foundation Capital. Earlier this year, one-third of the engineers at one of Weiss's portfolio companies, Walnut Creek-based software firm ManageStar, moved to Asia. There's no way you can have Silicon Valley Company without outsourcing, Weiss says. You simply cannot make the numbers work, but the escalation of outsourcing worries some economists and venture capitalists. Although startups rarely employ more than a few hundred people, often working for smaller salaries than big companies pay, they act as a crucial incubator and entrepreneurial farm teams for essential established companies. Outsourcing startup work could have disastrous long-term consequences, critics say depriving Americans of unique business experiences and minimalizing the likelihood that the next Hewitt Packard will get its start in a Palo Alto garage. Silicon Valley is dead yet, but could outsourcing become a risk to the ecosystem? Said Alan Morgan, managing director of Menlin Park-based venture firm Mayfield Fund. Human beings aren't good at recognizing risks to the ecosystem. when they're acting in their own self-interest. That's the case with the environment, and it might as well be the case now with Silicon Valley. Wow, dude. 10% of jobs could move. Although few researchers have tracked outsourcing at thousands of startups around the country, the phenomenon has reshaped the broader technology sector. Gardner Incorporated predicts at least one of the 10 technology jobs in the United States will move overseas by the end of 2020, 2004. Damn, is this 20 years old, this newspaper? Wow, they're advertising fucking flip phones. That's crazy. That looks like it's 1800s over here. It even says 1800. 1-800-333-705. One Many jobs that remain in the U.S. tech nubs, tech hubs are journal and require late night video conferences to coordinate mm. 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 unwanted beaten brutally seized power a thug and a coward survival and power <laughs> Seventeen die and blast outside of a station. The police gather was deadly in Iraq. Slain prosecutors browsing this. Place. Anybody want to buy this for fucking fifty dollars? Why don't you have a garage sale? Um. Oh, how much is my body and soul worth? Um. Probably like infinite universes. It'd be like infinity times two. 
fucking you, times the universe. Why don't you have a garage sale? Um, because I don't really, like, I don't come from that world, honestly. I've never had a friend, like, I've never been, I've never helped somebody with a garage sale. To me, garage sales are for old people. My generation plays video games and watches, t like, you know, we don't fucking care about antiques. I don't know, I don't, just, I don't know, something about a garage sale freaks me out. I don't want to waste my time and, like... And then what? Some dude's gonna come over and he's like, oh, can I buy that for five bucks? And I'm gonna be like, no. But then I'm gonna feel bad and maybe give it to him. I don't want to fucking go through all that. But I could do it. I could. I could. I could get up all my five dollars items. Everything that's under five bucks and just have a garage sale, like a dollar a piece. I don't know. It just seems weird. I don't have confidence in it. I don't even have Facebook. Like, I'm so disconnected from the fucking world. I'm so into the other shit I do that if I had a good Facebook and a bunch of friends, yeah, I could have a garage sale. I've been watching people sell shit on Facebook, on, e on Facebook.com, or on YouTube. I've been watching all these dumb people do it, so if they could do it, I can do it. You know what sucks, guys? I need new bins, dude. I don't know what happened to my bins. They started collapsing and the tops broke. I need to somehow buy more. I need like one, two, three, four, five. I need six tops of these bins. I need to buy that today. Maybe it's a good experience for you, Mike. You come over XL King. No, dude, I live in a ghost town. I literally live in a fucking a half a mile long island. I live in an island that's 14 miles long and a half a mile wide. But like, I'm in a ghost. I'm literally in some kind of weird ghost town. I wouldn't be surprised if the fucking CIA or something run, like, military run, have, like, secret houses here because it's just a dead town. It's, I don't care, but I don't... Maybe, maybe I need to do it during an event. Like, maybe during a, a race. I can do it during a, a race. But then again, people rent my house. See, there's like always these problems. If I do, if I do garage sale during a big event and there's like 100,000 people in my town, the problem is someone's gonna be renting my house and there's gonna be like a bunch of cars in front of my house and they're gonna be paying to live in my house. So where do I have to, maybe I can have a garage sale right here. Like in front of my little, my door over here. I don't care, like I'll do fucking, when I can start doing yoga, I'll be able to do this stuff. I've come up with a conclusion that I need to work out. To, like I can feel, I need to work out certain muscles in my body. I can feel that like, if I don't work them out, you know what it is? I was thinking. There was this movie the other day about the borehole in Russia, and there's this bacteria. And then the, what the movie was about is the bacteria would encompass your body, okay? And then it was able to fucking control your body. Like it'll make you move your arm because it it was like coated your body, and it like knew if it like kind of sent like a frac frack thing in your fucking arm right here like a little tendril you would make your arm do this right well i forgot what we we're talking about oh yeah it's almost like the movie body snatchers like there's like there's the movie there's a movie that came out and it's like about this fucking encompassing fungus and bacteria and once it gets a hold of you and they're explaining in the movie you know in the amazon jungle there's these funguses that take over bugs and that's what they take over an ant and then they they pierce the ant in a certain spot of its muscles and they make the ant clamp its jaw on a leaf. Right? So it's coating the it's coating the fucking ant and then it knows exactly if it squeezes here, the ant will squeeze here. So the movie was based on that. But basically, if you have muscles, it counteracts the uh, body bacteria takeover. But that's where yoga comes in. Cause you don't actually need to, you don't need to like sweat and you don't need to like, you don't need to like max out. 
you really just need to do like exercises like five times and then like you get these little muscles all over your body because you don't want to work out the same muscle like you want a muscle here 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 and then people right now they're just doing their biceps so you got to do the yoga to counteract your fucking body from being par paranormally taken over that's just a, a theory i just created from a movie i watched last night do you guys like my new theory dude i've been reading so many fucking weird books about i, I was reading this podcaster and there's people in the comments that were like, I have had dreams and you had this podcast that never, and the, the guy was watching podcasts in his dream and the people in his dream in the podcast were talking about fucking secrets of witchcraft and like energy and life and death. And I'm just like, how is this? Dude? I'm in this random YouTube channel. And the dude is in the comments is having dreams of the, of the YouTuber. And he's like, dude, I had this dream where you were explaining energy and witchcraft and life, and it was all connected. And then it was, it was, it was, and then he wrote it all out. What he said, he was like, you're talking. It was like combustion and light bulbs and everything is runs on life, and all light is really on light bulbs is created through fucking coal and oil, and it's all living matter. And I was reading this, and I'm just like, holy fuck, dude! I, I, I you can just go into a YouTube comment section. And the guy has a dream and it's so crazy that it makes sense but the dude dreamt it i don't even know what we're talking about guys i honestly forgot what we're talking about. i need to eat some food would you be buff i need to eat you guys i've lost 20 pounds i'm so fucking skinny look at my arms they're like fucking toothpicks they look like snakes I'm so fucking stressed out, it's hard for me to- I need to go get something to eat. I can't keep losing weight, I'm gonna get in trouble. I'm gonna fucking go to bed or something if I keep losing weight, and my phone's about to die. Don't you just love it? I'm dying, my phone's dying. It's just, it's just like, awesome bro. Nowhere to eat in my town, my ghost town. Maybe it's a good experience for you. Dude, I don't fucking know. I'm pretty much fucking over my town. You know what's weird about my town? There's not a single person with colored hair. I've seen maybe one person in the last 30 years. That's how fucking bad and shit my town That's how small my town is. Do you have any money? Yeah, I get paid disability. I make like 14k a year. Uh, this is my second year, or first year getting it. I don't remember. I think I've been getting it for a year now or two years. I don't know. I don't even know how long I've been getting it. Maybe a year. I don't know. It's maybe it's only been 10 months, maybe two years. But <laughs> I like this Amanda Bynes poster. But the problem is, my main problem is that I, uh, a year ago, I, I got into debt, like $3,000. I had like a $500 credit card on my bank, a $1,000 credit card on PayPal, and then I bought $1,000 worth of stuff. So I'm like a, like $2,800 in debt right now. So what happens is that I get paid $1,200 a month. But I have to fucking put in, you know, $400 because I'm trying to pay off this debt as fast as possible. I can pay it off. It's going to take me another fucking six months, though. You know what I mean? Unless I put a lot of money in. And that's what I just got paid yesterday. I literally put half of my paycheck into this stupid debt. I paid like I paid off an entire I paid off half of my pay because I'm like sick of it, dude. I'm like, I'm putting all my, because I have silver. I'm like, I'm going to put all my fucking money in and, and just, so I, I only owe like 2,500 now. It says it's going to take like six months and I got to put in like $300 or something. So I fucked up and that, it's killing me, dude. So for the last year, I've been really struggling. 
I've been I've, I've been really and then I had to start pawning gold. And then I started pawning like five hundred dollars of gold, and I'd buy it back, and it would cost me two hundred dollars. And then like I'm just I'm just out a few paychecks, but I get food stamps. But you know something always happens, and my food gets fucking rotten. Food gets thrown away. Uh, hopefully next year. You know what's really weird? I worked for like 10 years and they're giving me the lowest possible disability. I don't like it, dude. I should be getting like $2,000. I kind of want to... I'm going to have to pretend I'm taking pills or something, dude, because I, I need to get a reevaluation. It's no fair. I know like retarded people are making more money. Not even retarded, less than retarded. They say that retarded people are just, uh, are actually inbred aliens. Yeah, but uh, the problem is, uh, like this month, I should have a thousand two hundred plus dollars, but I already spent like five hundred dollars of it on my debts. I paid off, I paid off a lot of them. I basically have to pay off $2,000, but it's just freaking me out because I've never had debt before and I bought a bunch of stupid shit and I never sold it. So every day I sit here and I'm like, you know, I made a mistake. It's like running a business. I tried to make a business and I fucking failed. Yeah, I don't even, I, I can't do fucking shit. I, I, I owe, I tried to start a business last year and it put me in debt 3k and I'm still paying it off. And until I can pay that stuff off, I, I gotta I gotta go bankrupt or I gotta do something, dude. I can't even go bankrupt. It's so stupid. What do I do? I still owe uh I owe a thousand, two thousand five hundred on PayPal. How can I just wipe it? What do I do? I put in fucking four hundred dollars in yesterday. Now I only got eight hundred dollars problem is i'm gonna spend I'm, i got i'm doing 60 percent of my income is going to food okay i've been studying the middle ages i've been studying history i know i know how to do life now okay you got to go from hunter to gatherer and then you got to go to like middle ages which is where you have chicken coops and then you can go to the next step but you gotta you gotta be able all your money has to go towards food that's the step i'm on right now and that's the step i'm not doing that's the problem and then I have to like have a little hunter, like I have to go from a hunter gatherer to like making a little tiny bit of money, even if it's just like a dollar a week. And then I have to spend 60% of my money on food. Like that's where, that's where I'm at right now. So this month I have $800 left. I'm putting $600 on food. I'm about to go to Publix and I'm about to buy a $600 gift card at Publix for myself, $600. So I have to have to eat food. But then the other thing is I have to go buy weed. But you have to spend $100 minimum to get a deal on the weed. So let's say I spend $600 on a Publix gift card. And that, that leaves me really with only $250 bucks left. Problem is I'm going to need $100 of that $250 on weed. Really, I need about $200 of weed to make it last a month. I'm going to need $200 of weed. So technically, if I, if I spend $250 on weed, $600 on grocery, and I just buy a grocery card because I need to spend six, I need to spend over 50% of my money on food. Okay. Cause it's the most important thing in the world. And you got to do 60% until you're like, until you can like grow your own food and you can kind of sustain like someone in the middle ages, you know what I mean? So we got to do 60% of our money in food. So I really, but the thing is, if I didn't have the debt, I would have an extra 450 bucks. So at the end of the day, at the end of the day, right now, if I had no debt, I would be able to go get a $600 gift card from Publix grocery store. And then I'd be able to get $250 worth of weed, which is maybe two, three ounces, maybe two ounces. And then I would have $450 left over and I have my food covered and I have my weed covered. And then for the 450, I can buy like bins. I can buy like uh, stuff from the dollar store, you know. And then that means I technically have like $12, $13 a day I can spend for the next 30 days. 
30 times 10, that's going to be 300. So like between 10 and fucking $12, I can spend, you know, going to the dollar store, uh, buying something on eBay or uh, 99 cents online. And that would be, that would work out. You know, right now, if I need a phone charger, I, I should have 450 bucks. Oh, I need to go, go buy a phone charger for a dollar. Oh, shit, like, you know, oh, I need to get this. I need to get that. I forgot to buy this at the, at the store. The $400, $50 should last me the entire month because I have my food covered. I have my weed, weed covered. But it all fucked up, and now it's going to take me literally, like, another fucking four months, maybe, if I put all, like, half of my money in each time, each paycheck. I would have to put $600 in, and then, then in, like, three to four months, if I put $600 in, I'm done with the debt. But that's going to be another, that's four months. So this month, I'm already, my money's already dwindling. I'm already down 450 bucks. So instead of waking up and seeing like two, two, 1,250, I'm seeing like 800. You know what I mean? I'm like, oh, fuck. So then from the 800, I already know I'm going to have to get food. Because I'm not eating. I can't eat. I need to make my own food if I want to eat. Like, I'm tired of eating this shit food. I, I'm, I just, I try to eat this, I'm tired of eating chicken all day, dude. Like, meat. I don't, I also, all I do is eat fucking meat. I don't want to. I want to eat vegetables and my own cooked herbs and spices. I'm so sick of eating meat all day, but it's cheap. So, if I get $600 of groceries, I should cure the plaque from my mouth, which causes fucking intestinal diseases. And then once you get plaque in your mouth and you don't fucking eat the only thing that melts tumors in your body is plants. Plants will melt tumors, will fucking remove metal, will remove mercury from your body. They say, oh, we don't know how to get rid of mercury in your body. There's literally flowers you can eat and petals of flowers that'll fucking get rid of the mercury in your body. Like, literally, a flower can get, get rid of mercury in your body. And then right now, people are eating flour, making bread, because they don't want you to eat real flowers. So people are so, so dumb... They literally just switch it around. They say, oh, you need flour to eat bread. That's the number one thing you should eat. Right? It's just, okay, so anyways, yeah, so then I'm down 450 bucks in the first day. I just got paid yesterday. So now I got $800. I already know I need $600 of groceries because I'm tired. I'm not going to starve. Like, all my money is going to go towards food. I don't care if I have to fucking throw all this stuff away. My health is the most important thing in the world. So... So that means I only got $200 left. And I already know that I got to go buy weed for a hundred, probably $200 worth of weed. So that leaves me, I just got paid yesterday. So after I go to the store to buy groceries, to get my, my little card for the grocery store. And then after I go, but then, but then I have to go to get the weed. So by the end of the day today, I probably will have $0, but I should have $450. And then maybe next month I have food stamps. So I have 150 bucks in food stamps. So really, maybe I don't need $600 of groceries. Maybe I only need like a 450 because I have 150 in my food stamps. So maybe 450 in cash, 150 food stamps, that's 600 bucks. But really I need to do 60% of my cash, not my food stamps. So really, you know, how long is, how much is $600 worth of groceries gonna last me? It cost me $30 to buy all the produce and make my own meal. That'll last me a few days. So $30 times 10, that means I can technically make 10 meals that should last me three days for $600. Plus, I can use my food stamps to get, like, other things. And then I can't buy any processed food. I can't buy any fucking cookies. No frozen foods. It has to be all organic. and has Or it has to be, like, plants and specific plants to melt tumors from your body and get rid of the plaque and the fucking fungus and the bacteria in your body so i can't be eating any of the fucking fake flour food that has flour in it and enriched flour so so you know what i mean so then it's like okay as long as i have the weed and the food i, I should be okay but the problem is you know i need a phone i need a laptop i need to fix my fucking my laptop i need to fix my i need a better phone a better laptop i need bins i need tops for my bins i need fucking a new wax new wax i've been using i've been reusing the same wax for fucking years i need new wax i need a hundred dollars 
maybe 150 bucks to buy new wax. I would like, you know what I mean, I need new tweezers. That costs $30. But a new wax machine costs $500. Wax costs 150 bucks. So it would be nice to have the extra four. But then the problem is, like, this has been happening for the last six months. You know, so for the last six months, I don't have enough money to buy that fucking phone or that. Like the other day, I have had no money for the last week. I used all my change. I'm too lazy to go to the fucking pawn shop and pawn my gold because that's happened. That happened six months ago. And literally to borrow a thousand dollars costs 250 bucks. So I had to pick up the gold, lost 250 bucks. I'm tired of giving them money. And me, this is my bank. Like, I need that money each month. So I have to start over. I'm like, I don't know what to do, dude. Uh, I have precious gold and silver. But everything else, it, like, I don't know how to sell it. So, you know, I'm like, should I sell the silver? I found another gold necklace today. I'm like, oh, you know, I could probably get rid of all my debt. All I have to do is take, like, this little bag to the fucking... But then the pawn shops want to give me 80%. That's how bad it is in Florida. They don't even want to give you 100% of the value of your fucking gold. They literally want to give you 80% of the value. So it's not even worth selling your gold to these fucking pawn shops. So then you have to find somebody else to buy your gold. I don't know a single person, guys. Everyone fucking hates me. I literally start talking about fucking ancient witchcraft and like geomancy and like fucking like... I show them these weird pictures of like people that discovered stuff and they start freaking out and then they start taking all these pain pills and then they start blocking me. And they take a bunch of pain pills and they block me and they go, oh, that's a, that's a fucking, they start talking like they're back in the 1920s. And I'm like, dude, you know, that's, that's a friend to me is somebody who blocks me and says, oh, he's talking about weird things. That's what like my friends is fucking, they hate me. Uh, I need to sell gold to somebody. I don't, I can't sell it to my family. Like, are you fucking serious? Who's gonna buy my gold? My mom? I can carry it around with me in a backpack. I was thinking about carrying it around in a backpack. But then like, who am I gonna talk to? What am I gonna do? Sit at the beach? It's empty. The beach is empty where I live. What am I gonna do? Sit at the fucking empty beach with a backpack full of silver? Are you serious? I try to put it online a few times, nobody bids, or people want to buy it for a dollar. So my experience online is like people want to buy it for 99 cents and then they get mad at you if you don't if you don't sell it to them for a dollar. And then I, why would I go to the pawn shop and sell it for 80% of the value and I could get 10 times the amount of money selling it for just a little bit more than what they're buying it for. And then all my neighbors are all old, fucking decrepit, and I'm in a ghost town. And then I go online. The internet's so fucking dead, it scares me. You know, the internet's fucking dead. But then, like, they make it look like it's alive, the internet. They try so... I don't even know what's going on anymore. I don't know if there's bots. They've been claiming that the military has had robots on the internet for, like, 50 years. Nobody talks about it. I've had never even heard a single person talk about it. Like, even, like, dude, there's, it's, people nowadays are so dumb about what's going on on the internet. They don't even realize that there's, like, millions of robots that scourge the entire internet every single, every second of the day. They don't even know that. So, and the entire internet's been so ruined, and it's turning into a medical establishment. And they even said that people that run the world are the people that fuck the, the most richest people are the pharmaceutical companies okay they want us all to be fucking zombied out they, they don't want us to be zombied out they just like to test us like oh will he take the pill there's like literally medicine out there that if you drink a flower it cures your tumors okay there's like actual medicine out there that literally cures tumors and then it's like there's this world out there where people take pain pills and they take these fucking pills. They don't even know what the pills are for. The definition of a medical pill is literally you have to have one active ingredient. And usually it has to make you either, it has to change your metabolism and it has to make you sleep. And the only really way to do that is to put fucking death into pills. They put like so much, literally the, the anti-life into a pill so when you eat it, 
your bacteria and your stomach starts freaking out. You get all fat. And then you get all these side effects, dry mouth, dry hands, your skin starts cracking and shit. It's because the pill is literally a death pill. So the, so the people are so stupid, they're taking pills by the doctors. And the real pills are flowers that you can eat to cure tumors. But they need a pill because the whole definition of the definition of the word medicine is like something that changes your metabolism. And it's, and it's not healing. Healing is what people need. People are looking for healers. Like... In the ancient fucking myths and legends, there's like these healing people. People are so stupid, they don't even know the definitions of doctor and healer and the difference. And they think that a doctor is a healer. And then they think that medication is a fucking ancient remedy made of flowers that cures uh, cancer. And they don't even realize the pills they're taking are literally made out of fucking like dead matter. To, to When it goes in your stomach, it starts fucking up your biomass. And then it's like, I don't know. And then I'm like talking like this and then I have to look somebody in the eyes and they're like taking, they're like popping pills in front of me talking about how their kids like fuck, like beat their kids and I'm and they'll drink alcohol and they're like 90 years old and I'm like, yeah, dude, uh, I don't know, dude, it doesn't make sense. It doesn't like my mind. It doesn't make sense to fucking like. Oh yeah, we're talking about my money. So then if, like, what if I sold $400 of silver a day? Who do I sell the silver to? Who do I sell the gold to? If they're only going to buy, they're, they only buy it for 80% scrap. That's not worth it. Do you guys know where to sell fucking gold to? I have, I have zero Facebook friends. No, I have, like, two Facebook friends. So if I go, on, theoretically, right now, if I go on Facebook right now and post something... There are so many people scamming on Facebook and they have zero friends. Okay? Like 90% of Facebook Marketplace are people trying to scam you and they have zero friends and no profile picture. That's me. I literally have no profile picture. I have no fucking friends. I have two friends on my profile and no profile picture. So I'm supposed to be posting things on Facebook and then like I'm going to message somebody and they're instantly going to be like, uh, is this guy scamming me? I don't know. Facebook has always been a fucking piece of shit i've never liked it i've never even i've been trying to take a picture of myself for 20 years to put on facebook i've still for some reason can't figure out a good picture i've done it like three times i've literally had somebody else i put on my best clothes i had somebody take a picture of me that was like five, 10 years ago you know what i mean like my facebook is so fucking dead and then it's like Oh yeah, there's supposed to be all these billions of people on Earth. I have zero Facebook friends. Zero fucking real life friends. I don't even do anything. Like, I don't do anything, dude. My life is me literally sitting here and doing nothing. You know what I mean? And it's like somehow I'm supposed to go from literally never accomplishing anything or doing anything. And then somehow there's going to be like all these people giving me money. And But it's a fantasy. Honestly, like, it's a fantasy. But... It's like, yeah, dude, it'll happen. You just, like, sell gold. You, where am I going to sell the fucking gold to? I've been. Have you watched the Jews online that try to buy and sell gold? They literally are scamming each other every fucking 10 seconds. They, they want they want to buy it for 80%. Like the, like the Jews in the fucking thrift store down here. They want to buy it for 80%. That's, the, that's how the millionaires are. The, like, I watch these millionaire Jew, Jew jewelers, and they're like... The guy's like, well, you want to buy this gold chain for 10000 The guy's like, I'll buy it for 150 like so in what world have you ever seen and then then i see people buy a, a necklace for 900 dollars, and it's literally copper like every day i see there's like 10 million people a day buying copper necklaces for ten thousand dollars but they only buy it off these weird fucking jewish websites like what do you like what am i gonna do be a bum and bother people knock on their window be like hey you want to buy this copper necklace i don't have a fucking business i'm a fucking loser i have problems i have medical problems i can't work so i can't make money so if i didn't have medical problems i would be able to make money but i have fucking disability the government's the only fucking person that cares about me nobody else gives a shit about me nobody cares about if i fucking like poop my pants nobody cares if i fucking like have food nobody cares except the literal government okay that's why alex jones is a fucking liar and he's a cia agent okay he's a lying piece of shit you got the government giving me 15k a year basically and they're giving me 
plus two thousand dollars in food stamps so basically i'm making 17 16 17 k a year from the government because and they're they're literally are telling me like oh i'm sick and i can't work so here's money because you can't work we don't want to see you starve and the government literally is giving me basically 17 k a year just because they don't want to watch me starve that's well let me think 12 12 13 14 15 yeah it's about 17 maybe 6.5k a year that's not even poverty that's above poverty so in 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 everybody's world in in your world my sister's world my best friend's world my neighbors the the, the governor the fucking military all of the people the rock oprah None of them will even give me a dollar. I'd probably have to bite their neck and drink their blood and then I'd go to jail for the rest of my life. They, they literally would rather... They'd rather blow themselves up and blow me up than give me a dollar. Literally. They, they would literally sacrifice me and themselves if, rather than giving me a dollar. But the government, they give me $17,000. And you're saying... And I'm sitting here... Saying that 90% of the people, my neighbors, my so-called friends, they won't even give me a fucking dollar, not even one. But the government's giving me 17000 And I should be making like twenty-three. I should be. Ma I, I'm going to try to get them to give me an extra $500. I want to try to make like $20,000 a month or a year. So it's really crazy that I go online. Uh, you know, I've had, I, on, on all my channels, I've probably had 3 million views. Maybe maybe one to two million. Like my first channel had nine hundred thousand, my second one had like five hundred thousand, and all the other ones combined probably had fifty thousand. Or yeah, eight hundred. So that's a million and a half views I've had on all my videos. A million fucking clicks. It said it said a million views. That's what it said on my first channel, and then my second channel was like five hundred thousand. And it started going down from there because I kept getting banned. But so they're they're basically saying that a million people have seen my channel. Okay. None of them have ever really asked me questions. They don't even ask me like how tall am I or something. You know what I mean? They don't even ask me like how much I weigh. Not a single person really has like asked me like ten questions that like matter. You know what I mean? And I've and I've had millions of people look at me. But the government I literally tell the government, help, I'm sick. I've even told my parents, I've told everyone, I've told my friends, I've told my girlfriends, I've told everyone I know how sick I am, and how it's like, unbearable, really, it's fucking, it's like, I feel like I'm, it's crazy, like, I should be in a wheelchair, it's so much, I'm so much pain, I can't even fucking work, I can barely go through school, barely pass school, nobody believes me, but the government and the doctors that the government provides, they believe me. They fucking help me. They give me $17,000 a year. Not even my own father or my nobody. I, that's why I stopped talking to my father. I stopped talking to my father because it's like, bro, I'm 30 years old. I've been trying to tell you for 30 years and just, all you do is tell me to go get a job. And then you tell me to fucking like that I'm making it up in my head. This, 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 you know, I'm like, I'm done talking to you. I'm not going to fucking talk to this dude who's telling me to get a job and I'm 30 years old and I'm trying to tell him what's going on. This is everybody. Everyone's like that. This is the fucking bullshit. And then I realized, wait a minute, I've been my whole life, I've been trying to get attention. I've been trying to make money. I've been trying to get a girlfriend. I've been trying to invent stuff. I've been trying to fucking listen to stupid Alex Jones type people and conspiracy theories, fucking dumb people that don't know what's going on. And then this whole time, I'm trying to get my dad's attention. I'm trying to get girls, my sister, my friends. I'm losing everybody. This whole time, the government is the only person or thing or whatever it is. Not even the churches help me. I went to the churches. They told me to go. They told me basically like they don't care if I die of cancer because they have so many people that come to the church with cancer or whatever it is that's wrong with me. And they just don't care. And like, sorry, bye. So the, the churches don't not even will help with a dollar. I've had a church give me a hotel room one time. So a church is, out of, out of the last 34 years I've been alive, a church gave me $30. And I found $30 on the ground one time. 
and then I asked like a bunch of truck drivers one day in a parking lot in a fucking grocery store for 10 bucks and one of them gave me 10 bucks so like my whole life you know it, the government has given me literal tens of thousands it's, it's almost like a video game it's like I'm like walking around um, this world and there's this video game you download you just push this button and it's like here's 10,000 coins here's free this free this here's $2,000 of free food it's like are you kidding me this whole time I've been walking around playing these and listening to these stupid people and like and this whole time I just download this random app called government and I click it and I'm making all this money and then still to this day no girlfriend no fucking car no job I literally do nothing living in a dead town if it wasn't for the government like what where would i be right now the government saved my life they want me to grow they're the only ones that are if i wasn't for the government i could be dead probably maybe i would maybe would have died of fucking rot now i can go i'm gonna go right in a minute i'm about to go buy a 600 hundred dollar food stamp card i'm gonna live like a fucking king i've studied the hunter gatherers i've studied the cavemen I've studied the fucking jungle people. I've recently started studying the early... The, I've been studying the Victorian era, the Edwardian era, and I, in the 1800s, and I finally figured it out. I figured it out. There's a certain path you have to take, and I'm on the, where I'm at right now, I figured it out who I am and where I am and what I gotta do. I need to eat more food. I need to spend 60 uh, $600 a month plus 150 bucks so 750 dollars a month is going towards food i'm going to be making teas i'm going to be making malt drinks all day long every day I'm be, i need to buy spices i need to buy herbs so i'm going to go from and then yeah and then look at all these and then it's like dude people right now on this earth they're not doing that they're not fucking making the teas like how many people do you know that actually make real tea with flower petals and shit like no not a single person i don't i don't even know a single person online that i see people that cook or they make desserts or they fucking like chug soda but nobody even like once have i seen somebody that actually just goes to the store and dedicates a part of their fucking paycheck to making teas like it's just this it's just that's how low class and this is the same people that never would have helped me not even for a dollar um same kind of people i could probably maybe if i like i would die of dehydration and they wouldn't need to even give me a drop of water but the government did right so these people are the same people they don't they like if it was up to them where would i be i would be drinking soda that rots your fucking body and then i would be like what i'd be like uh oh my god it's scary but look at what the government does the government's letting me study literal hundred thousand year old medication about flowers i'm literally defeating the fucking pharmaceutical company who taken over the whole world and i've now i understand what with how they're doing it they're doing it by fucking basically voodoo they're basically taking over the world by using fucking voodoo and, and people are and they're actually hypnotizing people by suggesting things on tv like take this pill take this do this do this but for some reason, people sit there and they'll get suggested to basically hypnotism by the pharmaceutical companies. And they'll never once, like, look at look at flour and say, wait a minute, should I eat flowers? And then, like, research it. So I'm defeating the fucking hypnotism, the voodoo hypnotists. I don't even know, high priests. There are a bunch of high priest voodoo hypnotists that's running the fucking world, giving people literal pills that kill the bacteria in your stomach to make you eat more. That's what a medication, the definition of medication is, is like death pills. And people like, it's just crazy. I'm defeating this fucking people who are running the world. Um, I'm not even defeating them. And all you got to do is you got to live like somebody from the 1800s. You got to grow your own food. You got to fucking, you got to do the math. How much you're, you, you got to realize like, what, who are you? What are you? I got money. I need to spend six. What's the most important thing in my life? Health. You know? It's like, I don't even need friends. I don't even need family. I don't need friends. I don't I don't even need a girlfriend. Honestly. Uh, it, it would actually slow me down. It would actually fuck me up. If I could just sit in a room all day and cook my food for an hour, like my breakfast, and then work out for an hour, and then cook my lunch for an hour, and then work out for another hour, and then read a fucking book and write something down, and then cook something else for an hour, and then sleep, like, that would be ideal. Where is there time for me to ever hang out with somebody 
or fucking do something that's going to take away from me cooking my own food and or doing yoga. And then I'm going to be around these people that are so stupid. They're literally below hunter gatherers. They're not even jungle people. They're not even stone age. They're not bronze age. It's then that's what I'm talking about. We're living in this voodoo high priest society where there's temples all around us. Like every fucking structure is literally a temple. Every building in the United States is a temple of fucking voodoo hypnotism because we are so dumb they have to hypnotize us because we're not even on the level of hunter-gatherers. We're not even on the level of Bronze Age people. We're not even on the level of people that grow their own food every day and, and have chicken coops and like fucking, and, and you know what I mean? And fish. Like we're not even on the level of people in the 1800s. That's why... It's like we're, they have to make it this world where if you can, you can be like me and you don't have to fucking eat death, literally eat, eating death and dying, decaying, and then because somebody's suggesting it and then you fall for it. Like it doesn't have to be that way. You can go, you can really, if you read all the history and read, like it, it's good for you. And then it's like, why read? Look what I figured out by reading and, and watching documentaries and fucking studying I understand the timeline, the timeline, I understand exactly where we are, I understand who's running the world, I understand what I am, I understand what I have to do, it's like on a map, I can pinpoint exactly where I am and what I have to do, like a video game, I'm on this disc, I'm on fucking, I know exactly what I gotta do, where I am, and it's like, it only took me a day, it's not like it took me, I didn't have to go to college, I didn't have to beg people, help, I don't know anything, can you teach me? I, didn't, I never said that once. I never went on my knees and gave people money for information. Not one time did I fucking... There's people out there that are tens of thousands of dollars in fucking debt trying to get an education, begging this old man on stage, please teach me everything you know. And the guy learned it from some book. Like, like, and that's how most people are. They're, they're doing the same thing. They're, they're trying to learn. They don't know anything. And then they go to doctors. They don't know anything. They don't even know what the word doctor is. They don't even know where they're standing. They don't even know the name of the earth. They don't even know what is going. They don't even know what's above them. They don't know what's under them. People don't even know what the air is and what their bodies are for. And so they're literally less than hunter-gatherers. Maybe if you're a hunter-gatherer, you would start fucking like working out and running. And then eventually you would have so much testosterone or so many endorphins running that eventually you would have a muscle in your forehead and you'd be finally, you'd have non-itchy body and non-tumor body and you would finally from, go for a hunter-gatherer to be to have patience to grow your own food and you'd have the patience and then literally it would be a muscle growing on your forehead and you'd have no more itchy butthole like a monkey and for the first time the hunter-gatherer would say oh my god i can grow my own food because I, I don't have to go crazy i don't feel like i'm tweaking out every day so you can go from hunter-gatherer to growing your own food you can literally go like ed, to the edwardian you can go Victoria, and then if you look at these eras, most of the eras are not really eras. It's like you have a chance right now to join nature and become alive, right? And most of these fucking throughout history, it's just the pharmaceutical companies and these companies just doing the same thing they're doing right now, just killing everybody, pretending that everyone's stupid and acting like we don't know anything. Look at the Victorian era. People were eating fucking like mercury and bread. They had asbestos in every wall. You know what I mean? It took like, it's like after 500 years, they're like, oh, I thought maybe it was good. It's the same shit's happening right now. Half the stuff is bad for you. I wouldn't be surprised if fucking um, air conditions are bad for you. Think about that. They just, oh, they just invented air conditioners. Did you know air conditioners used to be deadly back then? And the first supposedly invented air conditioners that were killing people. And now we've had it for like 50 years and everyone's just like, yeah, that's what, that's what history is. History is people that are like, they invent something and they use it for 100 years and then 150 years goes by and people are like, holy fuck, these cavemen were using electricity and doing this with gases to try to make the air cold. And they were actually killing themselves. And look at the society right now. Most of these people are literally killing themselves. And they don't even know it. And they literally are hypnotized to do it by these people that run the world. Because they're not smart enough to go hunt and gather and then eventually stop the fucking tumors and then eventually go up and be like the 1800s and then eventually join the fucking universe. So these people are so fucking dumb. Every single one of these people, I forgot what we're talking about. They literally, they literally beg people to teach them things. I've never once begged somebody to teach me. Please, here's all my money. I'll give you, I'll, I'll go into debt. I'll give you all my money. 
I'll give you $10,000. Please teach me about physics. Even though we all know that like Isaac Newton somehow had all these books about physics and shit. And he's like the only one that really knows about physics. And like, like, oh, let's not read that guy's book. Let me give this guy $10,000 and tell him how I'm so stupid and I'm dumb. Look at please, please, I'm stupid, I'm dumb, here's all my money, now you like me, you teach me now, right, the guy's like, yeah, I'm gonna teach you Isaac Newton, it's like, pathetic, dude, everyone, of, everyone around me, and then I'm like, oh, let me go get a job, and waste my time, let me go eat death food, let me eat not flour food, let me eat bread flour, let me pretend I'm stupid, I don't know anything, and let me go be among, amongst a bunch of people with rotten bodies, they're taking fucking death pills, they're literally not even on the level of hunter gatherer. They're on the low. They're literally mental patients in a fucking world of basically uh, super priests, and they can't handle it. They they literally can't handle it. The priests are literally give people two options: you either get hypnotized and you fucking die, or you join the light and nature. But they they can't give that to us. You know, they cannot create a product that gives it to us. So people are so like little babies. They want to watch TV. They want to go to man-made stuff. They want to drive their cars. And the one thing that these fucking people that run the world that can't give us is fucking life and nature and healing. And we're still to this day begging people like, like for stuff. But the things that you can't get are literally working out your own body. Nobody can pick up your arms and make you work out. And people, every one of these people, they're spending all their money on, on all this stuff. And they're just like, maybe one day everything will be okay. And the people and the Jews and all, not, not even Jews, just like this ancient people running the world. Like maybe they'll fucking make something useful one day. Let me just keep buying plastic and glass and metal objects and paper objects. Let me spend all my money, even though I'm on, I should be spending 60% of my money on food, but I'm not even on the level of somebody who runs around and gathers their own food. Because I don't even... I, I never trigger it in my own brain that I have to cook my own food. So you're back on level one. You're totally hypnotized. And it's just crazy, dude. And I'm like, oh, let me go have a garage sale. And then does the Bible talk about trying to make money? I'm pretty sure the Bible says you shouldn't be trying to fucking flip stuff and make money off these stupid degenerating people. I'm pretty sure... A big part of this fucking Bible is talking about, like, let the money go, bro. It's not worth it to dedicate your life trying to sell things for a few extra dollars to fucking people that are literally rotting and they're eating basically poop. And they're basically, like, completely... They're completely compromised. Like, you really want to waste your time and, like, make a business and stuff to sell to these fucking people and then you're going to waste your time? I'm pretty sure the Bible, like, talks about, like, you shouldn't be doing that. You should literally be doing what I'm talking about, like learning about how to fish and grow your own food and not buying plastic and glass and fucking stone objects that are made by the people that are running the world. And I've only know this because I read fucking books every day and like watch documentaries every day. And still to this day, I watch so many documentaries and like I see people that are like 80 years old and they're so dumb they're talking about something i'm sitting there like dude you know that they've there's so many journalists out there and academic studies and they've talked about this a thousand times and you're sitting here like talking about something that somebody said in in the 1960s like you, you realize right now today in 2023 they're like academic journalists that are covering it but you're stuck in the 60s and you're telling me about something that's so fucking outdated it's like i only want to listen to 19 year old 20 year olds that are that are fucking really coming out with new information. Not these fucking old people. They're stuck in the past. And they're so weak. They can't even like... Like even right now if you showed an old person like a book of everything they knew wrong. Could they, they won't even be able to change. Isn't that crazy? Like they won't even be able to change. It would take them like... Maybe they wouldn't ever be able to change. So you have old people right now that know they're fucking have shit information on their bodies. And they don't even know how to get rid of it. They're like stuck like that. It's crazy, dude. The world is sick and disgusting. And it's like, oh, let me go make money. But somehow the government gives me almost $20,000 a year. For literally not having a girlfriend, I get paid. Not having a job, I get paid. Being weak, I get paid. For fucking uh, 
for being fucking crazy. I get paid for not working out and not having a girlfriend and not having a job. I literally get paid for being unhealthy and being sick and having fucking these, something wrong with my body. Something's leaching the fucking bone marrow from my bones to try to counteract some kind of toxin that's in my fucking body. Like, they're like, here, you can have that money. Oh, you have low testosterone? And they give me money for it. Instead of fucking being in this world where I have to kiss somebody's ass and I have to fucking look at somebody and listen to their fucking mouth or, or anything, nobody, I don't have a boss. I don't have to. The government's actually paying me not to have a boss. I can't imagine going to work. I'm sick. How is a sick guy like me going to fucking live in this world? The government is... Nobody else cares about me. Nobody gives a fuck about me. Except invisible... I don't even know what to, how to explain the. What does the government do? The bunch of fucking, like, robot, invisible people? I mean, what is it, really? You guys? Like, you guys are technically, unironically... Technically, every human on fucking America is unironically paying me. Every I've had a million, two million people that have clicked my channel. They've all basically given me a penny somehow. They don't even know it. And they're going to fund me for the rest of my fucking life. But they won't. Like, if, the, if I went to these people individually and I asked them for a fucking penny. Or I told them I'm sick. And I literally, I've been fucking, I was stabbed in my ball sack in my heart or something crazy. And like, help, I can't work and I need to ask you for a penny. They probably wouldn't even give you a penny. But the government is forcing somehow... It's a king's. So there's a king. That's what the government is. It's basically like a... It's kind of like a hierarchy king system. So who's the king? You know, that's what people try to talk about paranormal. Is it someone paranormal? Is it a group of paranormal people? Is it a society that is run by society that's run by society that's run by a paranormal person? Are there any paranormal people within a million miles of Earth? Is there one living in the middle of Earth? Is there a satanic, Luciferian person living in the center of the earth that somehow can make gold and somehow runs all the governments on the world like was he the ultimate hunter gatherer that turned into hunter gatherer turned into farmer turned into an inventor and was he i don't know who is this guy that's running the world is it a lucifer is it a demon is it a human is it a fucking a goat what if it's a goat human what if it's a fucking lion human? I mean, who knows what it is, but it could be a yoga god. What about the yoga gods? What about the monks? The true monks, not the Buddhists. The fake Buddhist monks are... You know what's weird? Buddha, Christianity, and all these things are actually covering up ancient, actual people that are actually the ancients. You can't even find a single scrap of any real religion. Buddhist and Christian people and Islam people have completely covered up the actual truth to religion and they sit there and they talk about religion how good it is and it's literally covering up the actual people that actually did the yogas and actually ate the flower fucking medicine to cure their bodies of tumors there's actually books about that and they've covered it up with buddhism and the military's killed and they've actually went around in the early 1800s and the early 1900s that's what world war one and world war two was also about they demolished every single temple probably over 30,000, maybe 300,000. They, they've they systematically destroyed every single temple, of every single one to, to right now, they give you like a few in, that you can put all in a book. It's like there's one in Germany, there's a few cathedrals in like France, there's like a few cathedrals in, in fucking Poland, and there's like a bunch, of, there's a few things in, there's like a temple of gold in Asia, and like a temple of gold here. They've, they've covered everything up systematically and now you have dumb people sitting there saying they're a buddhist buddhist is literally a new religion that was just invented to cover up the actual religion and one of the symbols was a swastika and look, look what they did with the swastika they reversed the swastika and they had world war ii and the whole point of world war ii was to take over all these temples and they literally lie to everybody. And people are so fucking dumb. They go to school and they learn fake knowledge. And they don't. And then right now to this day, I bet you not even one of these people have ever even seen a book about an actual religion. And they're sitting there being taught about Nazi symbols, which is actually an, an ancient symbol of an ancient religion that's being covered up by Buddhism. 
And then it's like someone like me, I'm so fucking smart. I can look at any building. I can tell you exactly what's going on. It's basically voodoo. It's connected to this, 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 this. this. Like, that's how smart I am. I'm so fucking smart that I, I won't be able to get a job. The whole time I'll be looking at people like my mind is just too, I read, I'm just too smart. You know what I mean? Like, I don't even care about money, dude. People are like, I've heard so many rich billionaires and like fucking like people with 300 IQs talk about money and like, like they're, none of them have figured it out. I'm sitting there looking at these so-called geniuses and so-called fucking, you know, and they're like, they're like, I gotta work. I gotta have a job to pay my bills. You know what I mean? They're just like so fucking, or, we're all gonna die one day. That's the one thing. We're all gonna die, right? And they're, they're like disgusting looking. They got pimples all over their body. They got tumors and shit. They got fucking cancer. They're telling you how about, we're all gonna die someday. It's like, dude, go write a fucking book like, what did you write the bible like are you serious you're telling me about everybody on earth and you know you know everything and you're gonna see and just keep promoting death when you don't even know what life is you don't even know what death is but you're gonna sit here and talk about it and tell me everyone is gonna experience what you're going through because you're sick and fucking i can't tell you how many people i've met that are so miserable they don't want to believe that it's possible to get out of this fuck this fucking trap that we're in where everyone is stupid they think everyone is stupid. They don't even want to believe that there's like even a shred of humanity out there left. But there is. There's people out there that eat flowers. There's millions of journalists. Right now, there's about 100 journalists covering exactly what I'm covering. Everything I've ever said, there's 10 journalists right now that are young guys studying it and coming out with articles. And then you got people out there that are so dumb that they don't want to believe it. And I'm sitting here. I don't care about the government. I'm really am over YouTube. I'm over fucking girls. I'm over every single human being. None of them will ever fucking help me. They don't care about me. They're not really what I need in my life. I like whoever's watching me right now. I like you, but like, I should have never took anybody's advice. I should have never talked to anybody. Just done my own thing. If I would have just never talked to anybody, done my own thing, I would be fucking... Oh my god, dude. I'd be like a Greek god right now. Now I have to go Now I have to go to the store. I have to go spend all my money on food, which is not a big deal. Like, that's how smart I am. I'm going to spend 60% of my money on fucking food. That is a genius. You know what I mean? That really is showing that I'm dedicated to my health. And health is so easy that I see these rich old people, they don't even know what health, they don't even know how their body heals. They don't even know what, like how their body works. And they're like these disgusting, sick old men that are just like, I'm like, dude, you've had 80 years and you still don't even know how to heal your body. You don't even know what your body is. I'm like the fucking, I, I read about it in one hour. I figured it out. I can literally figure anything out online within five minutes. Hey, come here. So how can I figure things out within five minutes from Googling something? But there's like these billionaires out there, millionaires, that are just like... <laughs> okay, I guess I gotta go to the store. I gotta make a decision. I gotta fucking cook every day, do yoga every day. I mean, it's gonna be horrible. It's really gonna be horrible. I have to disconnect completely from this world. I can't be talking about money. I don't want to be selling stuff. I have to fucking only work out. And I'm going to try to grow. And then I, eventually, once I work out enough and I feel good and I have a little muscles, hopefully I can start making a little money. And hopefully I can make some, you know, income or make something happen with my life. Because right now I am so fucking weak. My body's like a fucking noodle. I've lost so much fucking weight. I can't get anything done. I'm fucking, I'm like dying because I'm fucking not cooking my own food every day. But then, but then I'm like, okay, I have to go spend all of my money on food. Okay, like it's just such a fucking bullshit. Whatever. Okay, it's fine. Spend all my fucking money. I can't believe I spent my entire paycheck in one day. It's just like, are you fucking serious? My entire paycheck in one day. 
I have no more money for 30 days. But I have silver and gold, but I don't want to get into the trap again of fucking paying off the pawn shop, so I mean... I really want it. I want like a computer. I need a blanket. I need a fucking better pair of shoes. I need a fucking bins. I need a fucking tarp. You know what I mean? I need a bunch of shit. It sucks that like I'm. Oh, I gotta go get my food. I'm so fucking depressed. But let's see. I have. I can go buy two hundred dollars of weed. Six hundred dollars of food. I want. An, I need entertainment. I want to watch TV right now. I have no entertainment. I have no TV. I don't fucking have anything to entertain myself with except talking to myself. It's like I'm in a. I feel like I'm back in the middle hospital. I feel like I'm back in a fucking jail right now. There's literally nothing to do but talk to myself. But then I got. I then all my money is gonna go towards food. Like whoop de do, and I have to sit here all day and cook my food. But I don't even have anything to fucking cook with. I'm like living in a fucking trash pile. And then what if I what if I waste my food? What if I don't eat it? You know, I wish I could. I wish I had my whole paycheck, and I could buy a fucking nice computer. I buy. I need to buy some bins. You know, I need to buy that kind of shit. I don't want to fucking just spend all my money on food and weed, man. It's like I can't get anything fucking done. Should I wear this little gold necklace I found? I don't even want to look at the chat room. Like, I'm just... It's, I, I gotta stop. I'm, I'm about to put all my money towards my, my last debt. I think that's what's fucking with me. Do I look like a millionaire? I'm gonna look at the chat room, guys. I'm sorry. I'm really, like, freaking out right now. Have you applied for food stamps? Yes, I got food stamps. I can't afford the $200 a month right now. I, I just want to, I just, I need to stop streaming, man. These streams are not working out. I need a better fucking phone and I need a tripod and I want to put my phone right up here. And I want to have that tripod facing me. I don't, and I need this phone for phone calls. I need this phone for browsing Google. And then I need a laptop. I need a good computer so I can watch movies and I can, uh, browse the internet and stuff while I stream right now I feel crazy I feel like a crazy person I feel like I just I have nothing I can't do anything because I don't have a phone so I can't really do anything but then I'm streaming so I have to choose like do I want to do anything or do I want to only stream I don't like it and then I want to buy a phone but that's going to cost me a hundred bucks I mean I can sell a hundred dollars worth of silver but the problem is I'm going to end up buying a fucking shit phone for a hundred bucks. And it's like, mm, I need to get a job. You know what I mean? It's fucking like, it's crazy, dude. And like, everyone's just fucking, you like my necklace? I don't know, dude. I need bins. I need like all this stuff. I just, I guess I'll, maybe I'll go buy some. I don't have a closet for my clothes. Do you guys have any idea how annoying it is not having a closet for your clothes? Like, where do I put them? It makes me want to fucking puke thinking about clothes. Like, you can't live outside and have clothes. It's really weird. It makes no sense. How do I have clothes? I've been wearing the same shit for almost two weeks. It's so dirty that it's like almost... It's almost black, my clothes. Away 
Well. I never got to look at these toys. Why? Ah, oh, man, this stream has really got me fucking talking to myself. I don't like it. I don't like this. Guys, I don't talk to myself ever. Usually when I don't stream, I'm watching movies and documentaries. And I'm, like, organizing my room. But when I stream, there's nothing else to do but stare at myself on the camera. And it just is weird. I feel like I'm in a prison. Not a prison, but just in a fucking like a little like a little kid. I'm I'm stuck, and I don't have any weed. I don't have a. I sold my fucking car because I panicked. I can't believe that was one of the worst decisions I ever made in my life. Let's go through these toys. <laughs> oh, this weed makes me feel so much better. I should have just smoked some weed. Okay, we're gonna look through these toys and then I'm gonna go to the uh, grocery store and buy $500 of groceries, or a grocery card. I need to make my, my own food all day long. I need to do yoga all day long. I need to get back to being fucking healthy. That's the only way to heal your body. It's not about being healthy. It's about knowing how to heal. That's an ancient art. I'm, I'm guessing, guys. That's what the, that's what the whole point is. We have to learn how to heal ourselves. It's not about being healthy. It's not about working out. It's about really understanding. You have we have like fucking cysts in our body and pimples and like dis diseases. You know what I mean? And that's what we got to cure. So we got to write everything down wrong with us, and it's like simple. People, they could be like I look at the bodybuilders. If they use that effort on like a daily schedule. That's what we got to do. I, mean, I, I can only work out and cook my own food for like a uh, fucking, for three months. Nice wheat. Oh, dude, this weed makes me feel so fucking calm and good. I have one more joint left. Hold on. And then we're going to go through all these toys. Oh, look at this guy. I'd buy that for a dollar. Oh no, 2019. You know why they have their jaws uncovered, right? Humans are making artwork and they're not, you can see it in their artwork how smart a human is. Like this is like, this is honestly not even hunter gatherer. Like this is, this is mental hospital type armor. Look at the armor. Like, what is that really going to protect you from? It's not going to protect you from anything. What is this guy really, like, armor? Like, you, in video games and movies, like, you can tell like, people have no idea what to do. They, this is mental hospital fucking shit. Why is his chin uncovered? His face, his brain. That's where his spine is. Right behind his head right here. That's where the cortex is of your fucking body and your whole, your brain stem right, is right here. So why does he have his brain stem exposed? The only thing this guy has exposed is, is his brain and his jugular vein. And he doesn't even do yoga. I can tell. His body. His stomach isn't his stomach should be indented this way. So this guy has never perfected his body. You can tell by his stomach. Which means he's never perfected like the chakras. He's never perfected fucking anything not lower, not higher. He, he knows nothing. He's never even done this exercise. Look, he can't even do it. He's he's a fucking imbecile. He can't even like look. He's an average bodybuilder. He can he can barely do this pose. Look how, look how fucking pathetic this modern day fucking. He can't even do this pose. 
He can't even fucking touch his toes. He's struggling to touch his... He can't even touch his toes. This is the average human right here. I bet you I can look at a million comic book characters. I can look at every street... Even the Street Fighter characters. They're try trying so hard right now in the new Street Fighter game. They're trying so fucking hard. And that's, you can tell Chinese people made that game. Because the Chinese people are so desperately... They've been desperately trying to figure out the secrets of the human bodies for 5,000, 10,000 years. And they still can't figure it out. They're so greedy and they're so dumb. Go look at the new Street Fighter game. Look at all the characters. They're all supposed to be super... Even Go look at the fucking Mortal Kombat. That's even worse. They don't even do yoga. They don't even do yoga once in the entire game. They don't even... They, they're all like the character I just showed you. That fucking stick figure. None of them can touch their toe. And, and then you look at Street Fighter. They're trying so hard to say, Oh, we know about... Look at us. We we know about yoga. They don't know anything about yoga. If you, if you look at the fucking Street Fighter game, they're like they're like trying to like show off like how strong they are and stuff. That's not strength. They don't even know strength. They don't even know about healing. If those people were in the Street Fighter games were really worth a shit, it wouldn't be about look at my muscles. It wouldn't be about look at me. I'm doing this. Look at me. It would be about understanding their bodies, understanding health. Maybe they would have maybe they would have a few muscles, yeah, but to show off and to like it's just so dumb and it's like it's the same shit Chinese people have been doing for five thousand years. You, you can look at Street Fighter, and I can just see I can I can see who made that game. A bunch of skinny people that don't even know about health. They probably had to read a bunch of other people's books about art. They didn't even probably make the art. They probably fucking got inspired by somebody else hold their bodies they don't know anything about their bodies like i can just look at street fighter within five minutes within one minute i can look at all the characters i can look at the fucking what they're they don't have a single flower no one ate a flower in the whole fucking thing and all street fighter you don't see a single person eating not even eating a flower so how dare all of these people talk about health how dare them talk about fitness how dare people talk about their muscles showing off and their money and they don't even fucking do yoga every day they don't even do the right yoga every day and they don't even cook the right recipes every day and they're showing off what are they showing off what are the they're, they're chinese people that's why the chinese people and all these other fucking races that's why they're all cursed that's why the bible talks about fucking curses these people are literally cursed and that's what a curse is the whole point of the word curse literally means that you just can't see the fucking truth and for 5,000 years you literally will make comic book characters about unhealthy people but, but you think having muscles is healthy but you'll never once like make like realize oh I gotta fucking make my own food and work out and, and not work out to show off and do this like that's how what most people do what is going on with our fucking brains it's, this, it's a curse that's why you can look at almost every anybody it's like they're fucking cursed it's not like they got like a sickness it's not like somebody cast a magic spell on them there's some kind of weird maybe it's psychological maybe it's not really psychological it's fucking physical too it's it's weird it's ancestral it's a time it's been going on you can tell people and they still won't do it you can try to force people they still won't do it you can put people in jails people in jails none of them fucking they don't give people in jails fucking secret recipes what if they did that what if they put you in jail and they forced you to, to fuck like a machine they put you in a machine and they made you do every single fucking thing like I was doing that doll. And they force you to fucking do this and they do this, whatever. And they force you to eat these elixirs made out of seeds and flowers and different grasses and different fucking fats of fishes. Mixed with fats of fucking cows and birds and mixing all the fats together. Because there's only three fats. Birds, fucking fish and cows or something like that. So, you know, wow, oh, wow, you can mix them all together. Maybe you should fucking mix them with seeds and plants. And then, oh, wait, the seeds, the seeds have so much chemicals. I wouldn't be surprised, like, there's some kind of conspiracy theory with seeds, dude. They act like, they act like they know nothing about plants. Like, they even say, like, oh, we know nothing about plants. A single fucking seed has enough chemicals in it to do, literally cure, or to purify, like, an entire pond. Like, like an entire, basically, I'm pretty sure that all the water on Earth is purified by, like, a single grade of grass. And, like, fucking a seed. A single seed can basically purify the whole Earth. So seeds are so powerful and they're so tiny. A little, literally, like the Bible says, a little mustard seed 
as is basically like a gallons of fucking uh gasoline that's how much chemicals are in a little tiny seat so in prisons they could technically force people tie things to their bodies have weird fucking machines what about the ancient torture machines why not make ancient instead of making ancient torture machines where they had like fucking you know the saw movies what if instead of making a saw movie and instead of having ancient torture machines you made like fucking saw movie ancient workout machines that like you put on your head if you didn't do this within 10 minutes something happened or if you did it you get a reward that's what prison should be they you should come out of prison literally like somebody from 10,000 years ago like the books that we don't have we don't have these books we don't have these figures we can't even we don't even know what they look like these perfect beings that eat these foods the people that are running the world right now underneath the fucking ground literally that's what every book says is that there's fucking civilizations under the ground they're super smart and they maybe have tapped into all of this stuff so like oh let's just go to prison and look at the people that are making the movies look at the people that are around you people are the same people running the prisons the same people in the prisons they're all just a fucking bunch of dumb monkeys that'll not even like eat, they don't even feed their prisoners flowers it's like you not even like three different fats combined in one like how eat, how many food is being wasted they don't even save the fat of the food and turn it into lard you know that's that's like a staple if you don't have lard in a civilization that's how you know that that's that's another thing you like you should be so smart that you walk into a fucking grocery store and you say, do you have lard? And they say, no, we don't have lard. And then you kind of put two and two together. Wait a minute. This store is full of processed foods and it says flour. They keep promoting flour. Wait a minute. There's no flowers in the store. There's, um, I forgot what I was talking about. But basically, like, yeah, there's no lard. There's no fucking lard or flowers in a grocery store. And then you'd be like, wait a minute, I can't even get the essential vitamins I need in my body to pure, to literally get rid of cancer, to melt tumors, to melt mercury. And then right now they say, how do you melt mercury out of your body? It's impossible to get lead. They literally will tell you it's impossible to get lead out of your body. Guys, why are they telling us it's impossible to get lead out of our bodies? Why are they telling us that it's impossible to get fucking mercury out of our bodies? And how come the same pharmaceutical companies are the same ones that have like taken over all these ancient countries from 1800s and onward? They've taken on all these ancient countries that used to be like, oh, we make medicines out of fucking roots and stuff. They've taken over those countries a hundred years ago. Look at all these countries have been invaded a thousand times. And then now they give us pharmaceutical pills. And I don't know, it's just like a fucking crazy world we live in where you can't even go to the grocery store. Where are you going to get fucking fat of a bird and fat of a fucking bull and then fat of a, like, whatever the other third fat is? You can't even go to the grocery store to get fucking basic acids. What if, literally, all you need is acids? You literally have to have acids and you have to have fucking fats and then you have to have fucking oils and, like, herbs and, then you know, the basic stuff. But if you look at the grocery store, they literally will advertise oils and it's all a bunch of fake oils and, like, I don't even know if you can get any real oil in the grocery store, apparently. I don't know, maybe you can nowadays, but they have fucking soy and everything. Why do you think they put soy in everything? They literally spray soy on all money, on all coins, all money. Every fucking object is sprayed and has soy inside of it. Like there's a fucking conspiracy theory. And then you're just another statistic eating soy. You don't even cook your own food. You know, cook, you don't even eat seeds. You don't even eat flowers. You don't even know anything. And you're eating soy. You're just a basic bitch. One, they make them by the trillions. Just, just and the, you know what I mean? Just pennies. Uh, every penny is sprayed with soy. People are literally fucking, they're dumb. They're so dumb. They have pennies made of soy. And they're, they're voodoo. They're being hypnotized by voodoo priests. That's the, that's the average human right now. And then the rest of the humans are just cursed. So there's a bunch of fucking... You're either cursed or you're so you're just so hypnotized you can't even figure anything out. That's the basic world. I don't care who you are. And then it's like... And then imagine being a fucking... Going to prison. Then you're double cursed. And then you got a bunch of cursed people that... Now you have no chance. Like the whole point of America is you have the freedom to try to pursue your health. Like, that's the whole point of America, is that we're not forced. The voodoo priests, they don't force us. They keep, like, scaring us, and then, like, we give in. 
They literally scare us so much that we give in. I don't care how buff you are, how smart you are. They figure out a way to fucking get you, right? So, um, the, I forgot what we're talking about, dude. But basically, it's a bunch of fucking voodoo. Oh, yeah, the whole point of America is that we're run. Our, like, society went from being a king and, like, taxes and gold to our societies. Literally, instead of a king, we have, like, fucking voodoo priests. And, like, we probably still have kings. Maybe that's what the president is. This is the same shit they've always done. It's just a bunch of cursed people. And the only way... in the people in charge are cursed, too. So the only way to run this cursed society is to fucking be cursed. So we have voodoo preachers and voodoo fucking scientists. And everything's fucking lies and vampirism and negative energies. Because that's what we are. We're fucking a society of super negative cursed people. And the people in power literally... Our society is just the same. It's like we fucking lie. We have skull and bones and everything's covered in soy. Because what do you expect? What do you think? If we're cursed and the people that are running us are, and and they're, it's not a bunch, it's like, and then doctors are basically voodoo priests. And then people, they need healers. People are so dumb, they will never once in their entire life say, I need to figure out how my body's healing. There's something to do with water. So water is the main key. So something has to be, so... There's plaque coming from bacteria. So somehow you have to get rid of the bacteria and then you have to get rid of the fungus. So that's where the, the herbs come in and the foods. Each each food is one is antifungal, one is antibacterial. So you have to get get rid of the bacteria that's coming from your fucking rotten mouth. And then you gotta eat some something in water. Something about water. Right? So you got water and you got antibacteria. Within 10 seconds, you can start figuring out your body and health. And it's all about water. And you can read ancient books about healing. And then the, re read the ancient fucking books about health. And then, and then like, maybe you'll figure something out. You know what I mean? It's like, but I don't know. I don't know. It's just a sick world out there. And then, and then, oh, man. And then, like, I, you know, you think there'd be, like, some kind of revolution. But there can't be because we're fucking, we're cursed. We're fucking hypnotized. We're, we're all fucking voodoo priests. We're not even voodoo priests. We're less than hunter-gatherers. We haven't even... Most people have, are not even... Like, if you could get... If you were actually ascending, you would, like, go from the fucking caveman to, you know, this era. You'd become, like, a Victorian. You'd every, But you wouldn't get the bad stuff, you know? Because all these eras are just a bunch of fucking, like hypnotism and voodoo but you if you could go go through all these eras basically if you could almost go through all your ancestry and understand that you're cursed and shit and you could just like ascend i forgot what we're talking about fuck anyways it's like is any of it worth it there's almost it's almost nothing that's worth doing except cooking your own food growing the flowers because where else are you going to get the flowers? If you don't grow your own fucking flowers, then you're so dumb that you don't even eat lard. You don't even know why you need lard. You don't even know that your body is, is lard. You don't even know your body is made out of water and lard and bacteria. You know what I mean? It's like, so you don't grow flowers. So I, I, I can tell that and everything I'm looking around me, like I can tell that guy doesn't grow flowers. There's no flowers around me. I'm going to try to find a single flower. I have 10,000 antiques around me. There's not a, I see stars, I see satanic, I see her holding up a satanic peace symbol. She has the stars and stripes, so she's totally hypnotized. This girl right here is totally hypnotized. She's not even on the level one. And if you could get on level one, level two, level three, level four, you would eventually, you would be, you would be like the, kind of like the Bible says, you would almost be a God. You would have the past, the present you would be like you would be space and time because you would have you would you would you would have like so much material possessions and you would understand like money and the past and the present you'd, you'd be like a god instead she's not even going step one to becoming that she's a total vi victim and instead of like being, being like i know who i am that's why world of warcraft like at least you have a title you're like i am a rogue i'm a warlock i'm a mage you know and i'm part of a mil i'm part of a hierarchy when you like that's normal being part of a hierarchy and like having a role in a title right what is her title she has no title she has no fucking she no hierarchy her hierarchy is working for warner brothers which is the same as the people that are running the fucking world right 
and then her she's wearing a tabard showing off who where she comes from she comes from the fucking land of the the victims of the voodoo priests she's holding up one of their hand signals which the hand signals are your body you can literally work out think about it you're you're, you're putting pressure on your fingers you're actually you're, you're working out your body when you do this there's certain things you got to figure it out yourself it's so it's so complicated that they figured it out a hundred thousand years ago there's something to do with your body right she can't figure it out she's not even doing it correctly look at her she's she doesn't even know what she's doing she can't even she doesn't even know how to stand correctly she should be sucking in her stomach she should her, look at her armpit she has no muscles not a single yoga muscle. If she did the right yoga, she'd have little bumps all over her body. She's doing the wrong type of hand signal. She has a ring on her finger, so she's literally putting metal on her body. She has no idea. She's got bacteria. Her whole body's full of bacteria, and that's why she has no muscles. Because the bacteria literally coated her body, and it literally can pinch her body, and it can almost body snatch. She's basically become totally body snatched. She's almost 100% body snatched, and she has to be told what to do. She has to give her life to these voodoo priests because she will never be able to be unbody snatched. She will never cook her food. She will never eat the seeds or the flowers and the fats. She will never fucking work out besides her pussy or her bicep, and she will always be a body snatcher. She, and she's wearing the symbol. She's doing the signals. All that means is that this is one of our victims and that's, you can look at any movie, you can look at the Transformers, like, look at these cards, dude, like, fucking shamans. See, that's another lie. They, they, they're, they're trying to cover up the actual past. The actual past is not about shamans. Spring, all these words are just fucking average humans. Elf shaman. They don't even know what elf is. Elf is like the word in a Bible. Like, it's like you read the Bible and they mention a word one time. They don't even know what elves are. Elves are something that has nothing to do with the actual past. It's just a total cover-up. So whoever wrote this card is exactly like her. Her The person's entire life is based on fake past. Shamans and elves. And then, like, look at... She's wearing the wrong clothes. She doesn't have any muscles. She doesn't have any facial muscles. So this girl has no facial muscles. She looks just like Amanda Bynes. She has no concept of her body. She's wearing the wrong type of armor. She's not protecting her face. If she was really worth a shit, she instead of wearing armor on her fucking shoulder, she'd be wearing armor over her chin and her, her cortex of her brain. She doesn't even cover the cortex of her brain. She has no idea about magic, no idea about curing. This, this should be... She, she should be, she'd be called a healer. Like, a healer... Look, she has a flower. Nope, there's no flowers. Instead of holding flowers, there's butterflies. There's actually a flower in the background. She's not holding anything in her hand. She's literally pushing everything away. That's the average human right now. She's pushing everything away. She's not holding anything in her hand. She's stupid, just like Amanda Bynes. She's literally... All I see right here is a victim of the voodoo fucking priests and the king. The kings that run our world and the and their voodoo priests that have always ran not our world but our cursed society. And she's just a poor girl that has no idea how to get muscles all over her body. She has no idea how to cure her fucking lumps in her tits. And all she knows is to be a fucking hypnotized victim of this fake history. And you know, it's almost like everything around us is the aftermath of one of these incredible. It's, it's just she's no, no, no actually. She's cursed. She's cursed, just like Amanda Bynes. She knows nothing. She'll, she'll, she's like a Chinese person. Look, she looks Chinese. Look, at it. you can just pick up random objects. Like, that's how smart I am. I can just pick up, like, fucking random objects and be like, I know who made this. They don't know anything. They're fucking dumb. They don't heal. And then they don't even heal. Like, people don't even heal. The whole point of your life is to heal your body. Instead, people are taking, like, like most of these pills... Are, are literally death pills. They just make you eat more because they fuck up the bacteria in your stomach. Or they literally kill you a little bit and they make you sleep a little bit. They could make fucking real pills. And the crazy thing is that you can't find good pills either. Like, there's no way to make pills. You have to, like, go to the store and you have to get the lard yourself and you have to get the food yourself. And the crazy part is you really have to grow your own fucking food almost. You really have to have, like, a fucking garden. You have to really spend most of your time about your garden about your plants you have to be learning con you should be every day learning about plants reading about botany and about you know it's like that's what a real person would be they'd be fucking buying lard and look at the old time they meant they're, they're, i don't know 
It's just so disgusting. And look how sick she is. She doesn't even have any yoke muscles. Her entire body's compromised head to toe. She has no chakras. She's literally, like, what she should be doing is she should have something in her hand. She's actually hiding her other hand. That's how victimized she is. The voodoo priest and the king has done such a number on this girl since she was a kid that instead of, she, they could have made her into a god. She's hiding her arm. Okay, if she was like actual a person, she'd be holding something. She'd be showing us a tea. She'd be like, this is my tea. I've been, I put flowers and seeds and I put fat, I put, I put fish fat and cow fat and lamb fat and, and fucking uh, all the fats in here about every animal, and I fucking bake it, and I put all the herbs, I don't know, something cool, dude, she doesn't even have a tea in her hand, her, and then what's going on in her other hand, like, look at it, she has nothing in her other hand, trying to fit in, look at that, trying to fit in, trying to fit in America, she doesn't even know what America is, she doesn't even know where her body's for, she has a hole, a bunch of holes in her mouth, and it's like, that's what she's showing off, like, she's, she's not even in the right pose, Warner Brothers, April Gay Lord Films. Look at that. Gay Lord Films right next to parent parental guidance. That's all a big fucking joke. Like all these words, dude. Presents. Like look at this. Look how stupid you have to be. Warner Brother Pictures Presents. I'm not even reading it as presents. It's like a present. Like under a Christmas tree. Like, this dumb girl would read this like, uh, like, it's like, I don't fucking want it on your present, bro. What is this people's presence to make you into a weak fucking unmuscled, you don't even have the technology, you don't even have a T in your hand, you don't even have little muscles all over your body. So this that's the present they give you because that's what the world is. We're a bunch of, Chris is a curse. As a cursed human being, this is where she wants to be. These people, this is, she look at her, she's happy. She wants to be controlled. She wants to be a dumb bitch. She wants to fit in. She wants to fit in. That's what she's trying to do in this world where everyone is stupid and nobody's smart. And, oh, well, I'm so stupid. And everyone is the end of the world. We're all going to die. That's what she's probably thinking in her head right now. She's like, we're all going to die someday. Everyone is stupid. Like, that's kind of stupid thoughts these stupid people have in their fucking heads. She's trying so hard to fit in. She just wants presents from the war, the brothers of a war, a.k.a. the kings and the voodoo priests. They're not going to put voodoo priest brothers. They're going to put war brothers, you know what I mean, in the gay lord films. She probably never, and look, her name is Bynes. She, she's, she, she's probably a fucking clone of somebody. Look at that. She's bound. Her name is, her name should be Unbind. If I was Amanda Bynes, I would change my last name to Unbound. Amanda Unbound or something, you know what I mean? Like, she, she's promoting.